totally get why people have taken this thing seriously. If I look back on all the things which I've done on my system over the last decade, and then some years later I go on YouTube and I discover people have been writing degrading things about my system, it is absolutely annoying, and I'm sure it's been like that for many others. I'd like to begin by considering something which I learnt a few years back, and I wonder if my viewers would agree of its relevance here. No one sets out with any flaws or negative ideas about anything in society. We just become tarnished with these negative ideas from other people. That's a factor of life. We don't just attack for no apparent reason, we attack or defend if we're annoyed, as does everyone around us. And I wonder if that is the real issue behind all the arguments. To try to make this as unbiased as I can, let's forget talk about the real machines and operating systems out there, and instead concentrate on two made-up systems, very simple and to the point, System X and System Y. I am now going to present a typical scenario I have seen for over two and a half years on YouTube. Let's all of us consider that we are System X users, whichever system that happens to be. And let's reflect on what we have achieved on System X, and what it has done for us so far to this point. If we then go on YouTube, and discover some negative comments or videos about System X from someone else, we are understandably and most likely going to get annoyed. So we will then defend our System X, but some of us will then also go on in anger to speak negatively about their System Y to help defend our case which may not in every instance be necessary. He's been owned! At which point another ordinary user of System Y will read those negative things, and then he too joins in, and so it goes on. Now let's take some time to think of a person we've encountered on YouTube and thought of as some stupid System Y fanboy. If we can now temporarily forget anything negative towards him, and consider that he was most likely at some earlier stage just an ordinary user who regardless of his background and knowledge in technology became annoyed by ignorance from another side and so joined in the Mac vs PC conflict which later caused him to be labelled as a fanboy. Now understand, I'm not trying to make excuses here, but I honestly see this as a catch-22 situation, where there aren't necessarily any heroes or villains or indeed stupid people, just ordinary users annoyed by ignorance no matter which side it's from. And I actually think it's worth considering this when going further in the serious type of debate where insults are flying everywhere. Everyone is in the same boat when it comes to being annoyed by negative videos or comments, this is just my honest opinion. There are people for whom computing is their career, such as tech support or programmers or engineers. Then there are those of us like myself who merely use computers for work, who may not know anything more than they need to know about them for their business, in my case music. And it's for people like myself that I hope the next part of the video may be of interest to them. The biggest problem when these arguments happen is that the YouTube layout can be unforgiving for those who may inadvertently put their foot in it. The comments, the videos, the responses and the ratings stay online for everyone unless the user decides to remove them. If you say something that others disagree with, they may argue, and sometimes it can turn hostile. Now I totally understand those who debate as a necessity rather than for enjoyment, and as I said it's for those people that I'd like to share my opinions on the ways to deal with annoying videos or comments. As I see it, there are two opposite extremes, and varying options in between. On the one extreme, we can comment to a few about the negatives of their operating system or product. On the other, we can show indirectly to a much wider audience the positives of our system. Let's consider the first extreme. In this typical scenario mentioned earlier, when it goes beyond debating Mac vs PC sensibly and becomes a heated argument, very rarely in a video or comment section will you see a user admit that he's made a mistake. Instead, partly because sites such as YouTube keep a record of comments and videos displayed for everyone to see, he will do whatever it takes not to lose face in front of other viewers, 
such as mentioning the pros of his product while capitalizing on the cons of yours. Passing off opinion as fact, constantly changing the subject or use of condescending comments and insults in the hope that it will shut the other person up and thus eliminate another member of the competition. And eventually, of course, after we have exchanged a few words with that person for a few weeks or even months, he may just give up and go elsewhere without admitting anything. Then we may encounter and get annoyed by someone else, and the whole process starts again, and again, and again. And before we know it, we spend our entire time on YouTube arguing with people instead of getting on with stuff. But here's something else. The account the opponent is using may look something like this, without any videos or subs or anything, and we don't know him by name or face. If he later changed his opinion, there's nothing to stop him from closing his account and opening another under a completely different name. None of the rest of us would know who that person was, and we might end up wasting weeks, even months, of unpaid time debating with the screen name without ever getting to meet the real person. And then of course there are those few I'm sure a lot of us have heard about. Those who become dissatisfied when the debate does not go in their favour and resort to breaking the rules. And on YouTube, just as in real life, they either escape attention or get shut down. Now, if you are absolutely fed up with the heated Mac versus PC debates, here, in my opinion, is the other extreme choice. As I see it, anyone who has a computer will have something of value to add to a discussion and should be able to join in, make statements or ask questions without some all-knowing dipstick turning round and trying to shut them up. As a musician, most of the time I myself ignore the arguments, but ultimately it's a free choice for everyone. These are two extreme ways to deal with Mac vs PC conflicts on YouTube, and of course I am aware of the other in-between options. Now I'm not saying that every discussion turns bad or unnecessary or that they should not take place, nor am I saying that any more than a small minority of YouTubers, particularly those with totally oblivious accounts such as this one, are on here to behave like this. 
Another point I'd like to consider is that anyone who has a computer and a YouTube account has the same access to the conflicts of the Mac vs PC debates. No one is any more so than anyone else. As I see it, we all have different experiences with computers and expertise in the different fields that we work in that requires a computer. We are also all different as human beings, and we will therefore all deal with Mac vs PC in our own unique and different ways. I'll now take a moment to reflect on the difference between having an enjoyable, intelligent discussion or debate where the aim is to inform, gain information, ask questions and so on, and having a heated conflict where the aim for some may be to correct, but for others is merely to twist arguments in all directions just to win a pointless conflict by having the last word, no matter how ridiculous that last word is. Sometimes, of course, it may still be necessary to address one person in a video response. For those who encounter another user's comment or video that needs addressing, I'd like to think that the next two questions might be considered prior to uploading, of which again there are no right or wrong answers. First, is it worth uploading a video specifically dealing with that subject? Or can that subject be dealt with indirectly somewhere else? Second, do we actually need to mention the other person's name? particularly in a condescending fashion such as this? Or can we just present the video and let the other person know it exists in the hope that he might actually learn something instead of burying his head in the sand and going on the defensive? These are just a few opinions of mine which I hope will instigate some discussion and consideration. To everybody who's seen these two videos, let me know your opinions, what you agree and disagree with, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching.